Hi. Grade 7 students. Welcome back to our science class. Get ready with the following materials. You are interactive science textbook, copy book, workbook, pen or pencil, highlighter, earphone. Are you ready for the lesson? Then follow the textbook page number. 546 to 557 chapter 14 a trip through geologic time lesson 6 eras of earth's history let us to check our lesson objectives Describe the major events in the Paleozoic era. Describe the major events in the Mesozoic era. Describe the major events in the Cenozoic era. Now let us to check new words from this lesson. Invertebrates, vertebrates, amphibian, reptile, mass extinction, mammal. Review of the lesson Paleozoic Era Major interval of geologic time that began 541 million years ago with the Cambrian explosion. An extraordinary diversification of marine animals and ended about 252 million years ago with the end permian extinction the greatest extinction event in earth's history mesozoic era it includes three well-known periods called the triassic Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. A mass extinction marked the beginning and end of the Mesozoic era. The event that caused the transition from the Paleozoic era to the Mesozoic era was the greatest extinction this earth has seen. Cenozoic Era The Cenozoic Era is divided into two periods, the Paleogene and Neogene, which are divided into epochs. The Cenozoic has seen the extinction of the non-avian dinosaurs and the rise of mankind. It is marked by the Cretaceous tertiary extinction event at the end of the Cretaceous period and the end of the Mesozoic era. Now let us to check our first objective. What happened in the Paleozoic era? The extinction of the dinosaurs is one of the most famous events in Earth's history. But it is just one example of 
the changes that have taken place. Through most of Earth's history, the only living things were single-celled organisms. Near the end of Precambrian time, more complex living things evolved. Feathery, plant-like organisms and could themselves to the seafloor. You can see similar organism in the diagram. Jellyfish-like organisms floated in the ocean. Scientists have found fossils of such organisms in Australia, Russia, China, and Southern Africa. But a much greater variety of living things evolved during the next phase of the geologic time, the Paleozoic Era. One of the most event in the Paleozoic era is the Cambrian explosion. During the Cambrian period, life took a big leap forward. At the beginning of Paleozoic era, a great number of different kinds of organisms evolved. For the first time, Many organisms had hard parts, including shells and outer skeletons. Paleontologists call this event the Cambrian Explosion because so many new life forms appeared within a relatively short time. Cambrian life. The photo shows a fossil of a Cambrian organism called Anomalocaris. The illustration shows one artist's idea of what Anomalocaris look like. The fossil tell you about what Anomalocaris look like. Look at the diagram. Anomalocaris had many small segmented organisms. Invertebrates develop. Now let us to check one of the most events in the Paleozoic era the development of invertebrates. At this time, all animals lived in the sea. Many were animals without backbone or invertebrates. Invertebrates such as jellyfish, worms, and the sponges made their home in the Cambrian Ocean. Brachypods and trilobites were also common in the Cambrian seas. Brachypods resembled modern clams but are only distantly related to them. Trilobites were a huge and varied group of arthropods animals with jointed legs and many body segments. Look at the diagram. 
the fossils of brangipods and trilobites. New organisms arise. Invertebrates soon shared the seas with a new type of organism. During the Ordovician period, the first vertebrates evolved. A vertebrate is an animal with a backbone. Jawless fishes with sucker like mouths were the first vertebrates. Look at the diagram. You can see the first vertebrate jawless fishes with sucker like mouth. The first land plants Until the Silurian period, only one celled organisms lived on the land. But during the Silurian period, plants became abandoned. These first simple plants grew low to the ground in damp areas. By the Devonian period, plants that could grow in drier areas had evolved. Among these plants were the earliest ferns. Look at the diagram, you can see the earliest plant ferns. Animals reach land. The Devonian period was also when animals began to spread widely on land. The first insect evolved during the Silurian period, but vertebrates reached land during the Devonian period. The first land vertebrates were lungfish with strong muscular fins. The first amphibians evolved from these lungfish. Look at the diagram, you can see the first land vertebrae with lung fish. It has strong muscular fins. These lung fish modified by the formations of amphibians and reptiles. An amphibian is an animal that lives part of its life on land and part of its life in water. Look at the diagram, you can see the amphibians and lungfish. The Carboniferous Period Throughout the rest of the Paleozoic era, other vertebrates evolved from amphibians. For example, small reptiles developed during the Carboniferous period. Reptiles have scaly skin and lay eggs that have tough leathery shells. During the Carboniferous period, winged insects evolved into many forms, including huge dragonflies and cockroaches. Look at the diagram, you can see the big and huge dragonflies. Giant ferns and Corn-bearing plants formed a vast swampy forest called coal forests are formed. 
the remains of the coal forest plants formed a thick deposit of sediment that changed into coal over hundreds of millions of years Angia During the Permian period between 299 and 250 million years ago earth's continents moved together to form a great land mass or a supercontinent called Pangaea Look at the diagram 250 million years ago by the end of the permian period pangaea had formed <clears throat> the formation of pangaea caused the sea to expand in the tropics at the same time sheets of ice covered the land closer to the south pole mass extinction at the end of the permian period most species of life on earth died out this was a mass extinction in which many types of living things became extinct at the same time look at the diagram you can see some of the fossils by mass extinction scientists estimate that about 90 percentage of all ocean species died out so did about 70 percentage of species on land also affected by the mass extinction even widespread organisms like trilobites became extinct now let us to check the causes of mass extinction scientists are not sure what caused this extinction something and as you know it stuck out creating huge dust clouds massive volcanic eruptions spewed carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide into atmosphere temperatures all over earth rose during this time to the amount of carbon dioxide in the ocean increased and the amount of oxygen declined so scientists are not sure why it's happened it's most probably all these factors may have contributed to the mass extinction
now we can check the second period in the mesozoic era the jurassic period during the jurassic period dinosaurs became common on land other kind of reptiles evolved to live in the ocean and in the air scientists have identified several hundred different kinds of dinosaurs one of the first bird called archaeopteryx appeared during the jurassic period the name archaeopteryx means ancient winged one many paleontologists now think that birds evolved from dinosaurs look at the diagram you can see the first bird archaeopteryx the next period in the mesozoic era the cretaceous period reptiles including dinosaurs were still widespread throughout the cretaceous period birds began to replace flying reptiles during this period their hollow bones made them better adapted to their environment than the flying reptiles which became extinct flowering plants first evolved during the cretaceous period unlike conifers flowering plants produce seeds that are inside a fruit the fruit helps the seeds spread another mass extinction we already discussed one mass extinction in the permian period this is the second mass extinction in the mesozoic era at the close of the cretaceous period about 65 million years ago another mass extinction occurred scientists hypothesize that this mass extinction occurred when an asteroid from space struck earth this mass extinction wiped out more than half of all plant and animal groups including the dinosaurs so the second mass extinction wiped out most of the organism on the earth causes of mass extinction when the asteroid hit earth the impact threw huge amounts of dust and water vapor into the atmosphere dust and heavy clouds blocked the sunlight around the world for years without the sunlight plants died and plant eating animals strived 
the distillator formed the iridium rich rock layer some scientists think that climate changes caused by increased volcanic activity also helped cause the mass extinction what happened in the cenozoic era during the mesozoic era mammals had to compete with dinosaurs for food and places to live the extinction of dinosaurs created an opportunity for mammals during the cenozoic era mammals evolved to live in many different environments on land in water and even in the air most of the two periods in the cenozoic eras are paleogene and neogene now let us to discuss the paleogene and neogene periods during the paleogene and neogene periods earth's climates were generally warm and mild though they generally cooled over time in the oceans mammals such as whales and dolphins evolved look at the diagram you can see whales and dolphins in the paleogene and neogene periods on land flowering plants insects and mammals flourished grasses first began to spread widely some mammals became very large as did some birds now let us to discuss the last period in the cenozoic era the quaternary period earth's climate cooled and warmed in cycles during the quaternary period causing a series of ice ages thick glaciers covered parts of europe and north america the latest warm period began between 10000 and 20000 years ago over thousands of years most of the glaciers melted in quaternary period in the oceans algae coral mollusks fish and mammals thrived insects and birds shared the skies flowering plants and mammals such as bats cats dogs cattle and humans became common the fossil record suggests that 
modern humans may have evolved as early as 190,000 years ago. By about 12,000 to 15,000 years ago, humans had migrated to every continent except Antarctica. Concept map of Precambrian time. 4,600 billion years ago it happened. Main geological event. Earth forms about 4.6 billion years ago. Oceans form and cover Earth about 4 billion years ago. First sedimentary rocks form more than 3.8 billion years ago. Development of life. Single-celled organisms evolved in this period near the end of the Precambrian time. First multi-celled organisms arise. You can see some examples or life on that time. Sea pen. After Precambrian time, the Paleozoic era is started. Now let us to check the Paleozoic era and the periods included in that era. Paleozoic era, it's starting with the Cambrian period around 542 million years ago main geologic events shallow seas cover much of the land ancient continents lie near or south of the equator development of life Explosions of new forms of life, brangipodes, and trilobites are common. Look at the examples. Trilobites and brangipodes. Second period in the Paleozoic era is Ordovician period. Around 488 million years ago, main geologic events in the Ordovician period, warm shallow seas cover much of Earth. Ice cap covers what is now North Africa. Development of life. Vertebrates evolve, including jawless fishes, first insect rich land. Look at the diagram. You can see the jawless fish and ammonites. Paleozoic era. The third period is Silurian period, around 444 million years ago. Main geologic events, coral reefs develop. Early continent collide with what is now North America forming mountains. Development of life. First, land plants evolve in the sea early. Fishes are common. Look at the diagram. 
sea scorpion and early plants in the period of Silurian. Fourth period of Paleozoic era is Devonian period. It's around 416 million years ago. Geologic events. Seas arise and fall over what is now North America. Development of life. Age of fishes with many kind of jawed and bony fishes. Lungfish and amphibians first reach land. The Devonian period is commonly called age of fishes. Look at the diagram. You can see the bony fish and jawless fishes. Fifth period in the Paleozoic era is Carboniferous period around 359 million years ago. Main geologic event in the Carboniferous period Early Appalachian mountains form. North America and Northern Europe lie in warm tropical region. Development of life in the Carboniferous period. Reptiles and giant insects evolve. Ferns and corn bearing plants form coal forests. Look at the diagram. You can see the club moss. Sixth period of the Paleozoic era is Permian period. Around 299 million years ago. Main geologic events in this Permian period, deserts become larger in tropical region. The supercontinent Pangaea forms as all continents join together. Development of life. Reptiles evolve into many forms. Permian period ends with mass extinction that kills most species of life. Look at the diagram. You can see the Dimetrodon. one of the main organisms in the Permian period. Now let us to discuss the second era named as Mesozoic era. Mesozoic era is mainly divided into three, Triassic period, Jurassic period and Cretaceous period. Now we can check the Triassic period around 251 million years ago it happened main geologic events in the triassic period is pangaea holds together for much of the triassic hot dry conditions dominate the center of pangaea development of life in the triassic period fishes Reptiles and conifers survive the Permian extinction. Reptiles flourish including the first dinosaurs. Look at the diagram. You can see the organisms 
in the Triassic period. Now let us to check the second period in the Mesozoic era, Jurassic period, around 200 million years ago. Main geologic event in the Jurassic period, Pangaea breaks apart as North America separates from Africa and South America. Development of life Dinosaurs become common on land, in the ocean, in the air, first birds evolve. Look at the diagram, you can see the early mammals. Now let us to check the third period in the Mesozoic era is Cretaceous period. About 146 million years ago. Main geologic event in this period is continents move toward their present day position as South America splits from Africa. Development of life in the Cretaceous period, dinosaurs are still widespread. Birds begin to replace flying reptiles. First flowering plants appear. Look at the diagram. You can see some different types of dinosaurs. The third era is named as Cenozoic era. Cenozoic era is mainly divided into three Paleogene, Neogene, and Quaternary. The Paleogene period around 66 million of years ago. Main geologic event is Australia become a separate continent. Heavy volcanic activity occurs in the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean. Development of life in the Paleogene period. Mammals flourish. Grasses first spread widely. Look at the diagram. You can see the Hyracotherium and bats on the period of Paleogene. Now let us to check the second period in the Cenozoic era is named as Neogene period. It's about 23 million years ago. The major geologic event in this period is climates change frequently, generally becoming drier. Grasslands spread. The Andes and Himalayas form. North and South America are connected. Development of life in the Neogene period is 
some mammals become very large as do some birds look at the diagram you can see the titanis a giant bird in the neogene period and early hominid third period in the cenozoic era is quaternary period it's about 1.8 million years ago main geologic events in this period is thick glaciers advance and retreat over much of north america and europe parts of south america and asia and all of antarctica development of life in the quaternary period many kind of animals thrive first modern humans evolve in this period you can see the woolly mammoths in the jack we discuss many things in this lesson now let us to summarize our lesson the geologic history mainly divides into precambrian paleozoic era and mesozoic era and cenozoic era the geologic time scale is the history of the earth broken down into four spans of the time marked by various events such as the emergence of certain species their evolution and their extinction that help distinguish one era from another paleozoic era major interval of geologic time that began 541 million years ago with the cambrian explosions an extraordinary diversification of marine animals and ended about 252 million years ago with the end permian extinction the greatest extinction event in earth history mesozoic era lasted nearly 200 million years starting and ending with mass extinction this era consisted of the triassic jurassic and cretaceous periods the mesozoic thought to have had a warm climate that dinosaurs thrived in for 135 million years Cenozoic era has seen the extinction of the non-avian dinosaurs and the rise of mankind. It is marked by the Cretaceous period tertiary extinction event at the end of the Cretaceous period and the end of the Mesozoic era. Now let us to check some questions from this lesson. During what period did life really begin to leap forward and develop? 
second question the devonian period is also known as what and why during what period did plants become abandoned question number 4 what period did animals begin to reach land question number 5 what period were dinosaurs common next when did mammals first appear seventh question when was the second mass extinction what do scientists think happened now we can check the lesson follow up go to the website www.pearsonrealize.com do the lesson quiz this is the time to sign off our video we discuss many things in this lesson named as eras of earth history i hope that you enjoy and learn many things from this video thank you thank you so much see you goodbye Hi grade 7 students once again thank you thank you so much good luck everybody